All right. So I want to deal with a topic today, and I'm listen very carefully. It's going to come across very strange, very different today. All right, but please just bear with me and listen to this. All right, and I want to deal with this. Sell things to give. Sell things to give. Luke chapter 12, verse 33 states the following. Sell what you have and give, the, give alms. Provide your, yourselves money bags, which do not grow old. A treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where there's no thief, uh, where no thief approaches, nor moth can destroy. Now, I want to deal with this thing. It's a very practical thing. I want to just ask you this: What do you have in your house to sell to give to the poor? Okay, um, if if I'm really honest, every single one of us have got stuff that we are not using. If you're really honest with yourselves. So you've got one out of two options. Look at something that you haven't used for two years. And I want to challenge us today. Like Jesus challenged this rich guy and he said, listen, sell what you have and give to the poor. He's busy dealing with the principle. But I looked at this thing and I thought, you know what? How many things do we have in our house that we don't use? Don't actively use and never going to miss. If you haven't used it for two years, there's a good chance you're never going to use it. So why don't you sell it or give it to somebody who has a need? All right? But sell some stuff and give it so that you can help somebody pay their rent. Give them some food. Right? There's somebody who has a need around you. All right? And if you can't find somebody, you're welcome to give it to me. When I say me, I'm talking about Father's heart, okay? And we will make sure and just write there that it's for the poor. Okay, just use the word poor. And I'm telling you, we'll make sure that it gets and it gets used correctly. All right. Every single time that we do something, I want to tell you that it, we know exactly how which family got what food and how it was given. If we give to soup kitchens, we know exactly the amount of people that the soup kitchen is feeding and helping. Okay, so we make sure that it gets to the right people. You know, nothing worse than you giving finance and it never ends up where it should be going. Okay. Now, we are very strict that if we give finance uh, for Father's heart, we make sure it gets to where it's meant to go. But the point is this. What do you have in your house? What do you have in your house that can make a difference for somebody else? What do you have in your house that you can sit down? And when I say sell it, is if you sell it, you can physically give some cash because giving somebody a, a toaster or a snack which maker or something is not able to help them pay a rent. And so I want to really just challenge us. You know, I know of some people who sit down and say they've had a bicycle that has been standing there for years. They sell it, it's 1,000, 2,000 rand bicycle, whatever it is. And they can go and help somebody take some pressure off. Remember this, very key principle. It's the goodness of the Lord that leads to repentance. The goodness of the Lord is going to lead you to repentance. So I want to challenge us this morning. All right. On a beautiful Sunday morning, I'm challenging us. What do you have in your house that you can sell to help the poor? Okay. I want us to think about it and I want us to go and make some action out of this. Amen. All right. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so right now, when we come around the table, let us celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us. Let us celebrate the price that was paid for us. But let us ask God to keep our focus on those around us. In Jesus name. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, I ask you right now to wash us white as snow. Lord, I thank you that as we stand before you, Lord, holy and righteous and pure, I thank you, Lord, that you are stirring us up in our hearts. Lord, that we are going to stand strong and stand solid. And Lord, that we are going to do what you called us to do in Jesus' name. Lord, we are going to speak life. We are going to speak blessing. But God, I pray right now that we will be aware of any need around us. Lord, I pray that you'll just show us if there's anything in our house. 
Lord, that we could sell to help those in need. Lord, that we could give some finance to those who really need it. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray right now that you're going to help us. And Lord, that we are going to absolutely see a supernatural miracle take place in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that we can help others and take some pressure off in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements this morning, Lord, that we will have your heart, your heart on those that are needy in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, we come before you this morning. We release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. I command every form of sickness to go in Jesus' name. I release the anointing and the power of God to flow. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we are healed. We stand on your word. We thank you, Lord, that our physical body comes in line in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's Sunday. All right, I want to remind you that Pastor Don is on um, at 10 o'clock. So I want you to get ready for that tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm dealing with a topic entitled, all right, <coughs> move or climb? Climb or move? Okay, climb or move? And it's going to be a very important principle. If you've got challenges, you're facing something, I'm going to show you what God's word says to do to change your circumstance. Okay, so tonight at six o'clock, I want you to get there. I'm teaching three very important principles and three very important steps that will change your way. And you are going to see some miracles take place. I'm expecting multi-testimonies of multiple people with testimonies because they follow those three principles. Amen. So I'm going to deal with that tonight at 6 o'clock. I trust that I'm going to see you then. All right. So right now, I'm going to pray over the families. It's Sunday. Okay, let's pray. As before I pray, I want to remind you tomorrow uh, uh, on communion, I'm going to come with a strategy on what we're going to do um, through this month. What are we going to focus on in this month? Okay, because it is a month of the occult, Halloween, all these things. And we're going to believe God for something supernatural in our nation. Amen. No demonic power is going to control our nation. All right. So let's pray. Lord, right now we pray over our families. We thank you, Lord, for each and every family. I pray, God, that rest comes to each one. Lord, today I pray rest and peace over our families. Thank you, Lord, that we can just socialize and have fun. Lord, I thank you that our families are secure and solid. Lord, I pray for your peace. I pray for your blessing. I pray for the anointing of God to rest on each family. Thank you, God, that everybody is well, everybody is safe, and everybody is doing what they're meant to do. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I release your anointing, blessing, and peace over our families. And I thank you, Lord, that we will have a wonderful day today. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, let's do our declaration. Remember this? We are doing it by faith, step by step. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might, I want you to go to valor, and I want you to keep the atmospheres open wherever you go, in Jesus' mighty name. Remember, speak peace, speak blessing, release life, in Jesus' name.